This is the brand new Ashton Martin Vulcan. This is of course the 2016 version and I actually believe this car got rematched into this new model but you can see that they've added a lot of new changes including this explodable um, front bonnet where you can see um, a lot of the parts and um, you know it also gets this new secondary accent which you did not have before and you can of course customize this to whatever you want I have it right now in the gray next to the light yellowish green kind of like just traditional Ashton Martin or at least that's what I think of when I think of the brand so anyways you can see that there are also explodable doors now which are really nice I love the way that these doors open they're not standard but they have this nice like up tilt that gives it a unique look to say the least so looks pretty nice especially with this accent just it looks so good this is a, a bright well placed accent in my opinion for a car back end doesn't really offer it too much but you know it is pretty nice to see the traditional and iconic shape in my opinion it's just been a while since this car has been out so for me you know it's it's been a pretty iconic car the tail lights though look pretty similar to how they looked like before um on the previous model you can see they even added a logo to the rims which is pretty pretty nice so let's check out this interior in my opinion it's pretty nice actually it's not like the most top tier interior but it's definitely an upgrade from what we had before because it just looks a lot more smooth a lot more i guess fleshed out in a sense it just looks more cleaner just better executed and you know that's that it's pretty nice so now let's take it for a quick spin definitely excited to hear how this sounds yeah that's pretty good I wouldn't say my favorite it's also not so bad yeah I mean it's all right like you know it's not my it's not my favorite sound but it's definitely definitely not so bad so before we get into the in-depth analysis I would like to of course disclaim that I have not played this game in a very long time or specifically I have not done this race in a very long time so please excuse my lack of driving line and you know really just I guess skill in a sense because I just completely forgot how to play this game if I be legit so you know just yeah I just want to put that out there but um anyways from what I will say at least from the experience that I do have playing this game I can tell you for sure that this thing is an absolute beast the acceleration is insane this feels like there's this puffer that's waiting to be released and um, for me because I was driving so cautiously or not really cautiously but I guess just not so skillfully I uh, I wasn't really able to, to really make the most of it although it is once again a beast handling is insanely good too that and it, it really complements the fast acceleration and the brakes are also really good allowing for the optimal cornering capability so this is an absolute beast um, I'm not sure how it really lines up compared to the other cars in the Driving Empire meta but according to Phoenix Legend one of my good friends he said it can hit around like 222 or 226 seconds in the circuit race although you know times aren't fully out yet but it is a beast so they want to put that out there in case anybody was considering 